Howdy y'all, DJ TJ here with my tutorial, Boundary. Alright, today we're going to um, use the curve tools and boundary function to sort of make some NURB surfaces. So, you can open the boundary box by going to surfaces, making sure you're in the surfaces menu. Go to surfaces and boundary and bring up the option. So, all right, so we're going to make some CV curves, and then we're going to fill them in. It's a minimum of three curves to use boundary, but you can have as many as you want, so we'll press enter on this one. Go to the CV tool again. Now, I will hold the C key, and I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to hold the C key and get right over the path. I'm going to left click, and when you do, it will lock that starting point along that path. All right, that's the C key. So I'll go right to the end. You can release the C key and then you can begin to build your curve. Alright. Press enter. And we need one more. So once again I'll hold the C key, get right over the path, left click, and notice that it is still attached. We'll go right to the end and we'll start building. When you get over here you're going to do the same process. I'll hold the C key, get over the path, left click hold, and while you're holding down you can adjust it and I'll adjust it to the end. Release and right click. Now I have um, I have my three paths that are together. Now a lot of times when you're using boundary you're going to be sort of not necessarily doing something flat. You're going to be doing something more organic shaped like maybe the fender of a car or someone's face. So we can go ahead and right click and go to control vertex select a point hit W raise it up let's go over here and let's try this one alright I'm gonna go ahead and let's remove that and now you can sort of see that it's sort of this organic maybe a tablecloth or piece of flying pizza dough. Alright, the boundaries are open. We'll go ahead and select all these. We have already had we already have the um, default set for automatic and we're just going to hit the boundary button. If it comes in black, it's meaning that you need to reverse. So you can go up to edit nerves and reverse surface direction. And as you can see, it's a very organic shape. This can be used for hillsides or maybe if you want to have some rolling planes or, you know, a face or anything organic. It's really good for sort of smooth mechanical parts. If you want to do fenders or bumpers or something like that, you can also use this. All right, let's bring back up the boundaries. Uh, uh, the difference between curve ordering, automatic, and selective, most of the time you'll keep it on automatic. As selected deals with, we'll move this out of the way so you can see, deals with the order that you select um, the curves in. So if it's set to automatic, it really doesn't matter. It's going to decide itself what it wants to do. But if you click it on as selected, you get to put in the order. So if I click that one, shift click that one, and shift click that one, hit boundary, it might do some craziness like that. You can sort of fix these. See, that's probably having issues at this endpoint. You can sort of fix these sometimes by going up to um, edit curve and reverse curve direction and that can help. But unless you have a specific reason, um, a lot of times you're just going to leave it on automatic. Um, common endpoints, optional or required. Um, if you have it optional, what it is is if you have an open curve. So if we drew something like And then I'll go ahead and select these. And then I say optional and I hit a boundary. It'll use these three pieces. It'll use these three curves to try to build that out. Um, but you don't have to have them closed. Now, if you have it on required, it's going to pretty much make you have them closed. And to be honest, most of the time when you're sort of using boundary, 
you want to go ahead and try to close these up unless you're doing something very quick and fast if you're trying to build a fender on a car you really want to use these curves sort of touching that way when you build the next pieces around them it's sort of all seamless now when you hit required notice that this grayed out spot came up global is based off the Maya's preferences so and that's set at like zero 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 one so it almost needs to be touching you can change that in the preferences if you want to and local will allow you to adjust the tolerances here so if you want a little bit more fine control over the pieces you know where they come together how far they need to be you can go that way when you're on the curve range complete is using the entirety of the curve to sort of figure out where that boundary is going to be if you set it to partial you'll have you'll be able to adjust sort of the range like not the entire curve you can use just a portion so if you're just wanting to use like half of this curve you'd want to use partial all right the last piece is your output geometry um, nerves is what we have created here and if you want to keep just making nerve shapes you can always transfer them to polygons later um, however if you want to go ahead and produce something as a polygon or as a bezier um, you can just click on those the quick settings for polygon is usually quads you can always adjust your links if things aren't right and standard fit is good so we'll go ahead and hit boundary and it's going to make our surface notice that if you want to flip it you're gonna to have to go to surface polygons you'll come over here to normals and reverse and now that's flipped and as you can see sort of where all the the spans and the isoperms are how how different they are let's click off and see the shapes all right and that does it for boundary thanks for watching